Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and back in the garage. Now, today we're going to be doing another install. Yes, my buddies are over at SB Motec have sorted me out with a bug spoiler to fit down at the bottom of the bike uh, to, to sort of protect the exhaust at the front. For 2020 on the Super Duke R, the um, exhaust has become much, much bigger and pretty, pretty exposed at the front there. So, uh, vulnerable to get hit by uh, rocks and sort of road debris. And I've actually already picked up a bit of a ding dent and a mark in the front of the exhaust so we're going to be protecting the front of that um to give it a bit of protection and to sort sort that problem out so we've got everything ready over on the workbench there's a bit of prep to be done um on the bits and bobs uh, that come with the kit so we should get that done but firstly like always we need uh, the most input oh dear the wife's not got me some new beer something from bavaria on this one very tasty mm. Lecker. All right, so as I said, a bit of prep to be done on each um, part, various rubbers. So little rubber grommets go in there, plus one of the buggers. Same again on this one. Get in there, you bastard. Another two in there. Pretty easy installation, this one. Bit of a nightmare it was on my GT because I had to remove the, the uh, side stand and all kinds of gubbins, but this one seems to be a lot easier so a couple of those in there bosh it's getting warm in here oh what's a good beer that by reuter if anyone fancies uh, getting their hands on some of that medium loctite attach the side panels to the front spoiler shown in the drawing attention use liquid thread locker do not fully tighten the screws yet roger Ooh. thread locker just a dab Actually, Alan, gosh, mm. when my graphics kit comes, which hopefully is in the next couple of days, a bit of a delay on some of the gear that I've been uh, that I've ordered lately. I'm going to probably get some graphics put on these, or I may even get them repainted. Um, once I've looked how the bike looks with the graphics kit on it, whether these will match up with that, I don't know whether I can get some graphics on here or I might repaint them. We shall see. Step two done. Step three, remove the shown original screws from the vehicle. Mm. These two. One. Well, luckily I cleaned the pipes before I start this, all nice and shiny. Sort of. It's a long one. Two. Sank. Washer. Spacer. Do we need to run it? Okay. Five newton meters of torque. Roger. Question is, will my foot wrench do five new meters? Or is it too much of an animal? All right, we'll do six. That is six. We'll go below six to five. We'll try that. More of that. Mm. Pay attention. One of them, two of them, and a washer. No Loctite on these ones. If only I had a blooming bike lift. Anyone wants to sponsor me a bike lift, I'm up for it. How am I supposed to get that in there? Of course. Glad I'm doing this on a nice cool day. Not. <laughs> you can't be kidding me. It's definitely a pain in the spuds. We're in. We're in. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get a torque wrench in there, am I? Feels like five newton meters. Mm. Where's my Loctite? It's in my hand. Donkey. Already then, Enac. 
accurate. But... Spy dog. Oh, good God, this is going to be a faff. But luckily, Faffery is my middle name. Ow. <sighs> That's got to go on top of that in there. This is going to be a drama. Oh my good god. This is going to be an absolute pain in the cock. <laughs> oh, you knobhead. You've got to be joking me. Get fucked. Some gentle persuasion needed. I'm sweating my absolute conkers off here. <laughs> Bit of a disaster this. It cannot be this difficult, can it? Pain in the absolute Johnson. This is where I'd need a swig of beer now, to be honest, would help. I'm slightly dehydrating here. Oh, it's going in. Right, what I'm going to do is get all these um, in-ish Loctited and then I'll come back to you. I'm lucky that it's only about 45 degrees in the garage I've just dabbed some fresh Loctite on all the screws So I'm just gonna snug them all up and then we should be uh, should be done. It's definitely looking the business Boom it's on oh Oh no, it's empty. Cheers. Oh. Well, there you go. That is the SW Motec bug spoiler fitted to the 2020 KTM 1290 Super Duke R. Bit of a mouthful. Well, there you go. It's on the bike. Bit of a pain in the ass to fit, if I'm perfectly honest. Bit fiddly, but it's now on. I'm happy with how it looks. The orange actually matches the stock KTM orange pretty well. Everything is now tightened up and fastened and it is secure on the bike and I think it looks great and uh, yeah definitely some added protection to the front of the bike um, because the exhaust was fairly exposed so that is, uh, that is a winner. What I do now is wheel the bike outside so we can have a good look around it. I'll take some uh, photographs of it and put them up on screen at the end of the video. But otherwise, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked what you saw. Any questions or queries, leave your comments down in the comments section below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Take it easy and I will catch you out there. Ride safe. See you later.